Hello everyone, I am Miss Best to be a blessing. This is a reading for my Scorpios, Cancers, and Pisces. Today is April the 25th, uh, 2023. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you guys, so um, let's get into your reading for today. First card that came out for you was the Eight of Pentacles. You have the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the Knight of Wands. Okay, so you've been working extremely hard trying to obtain some things here. Working hard. Mm -hmm. You planted seeds for prosperity, growth, and wealth here. But I do feel like somebody's in their emotions. They feel like they've lost something here. Either it's you or somebody you're dealing with. feel like they've lost something here. The five of cups is three cups down, two cups up. Really, you can't really do anything about the three cups that's down. There's nothing you can do about those three cups. You can work with these two full cups. It's up to you if you want to be optimistic or pessimistic on this situation right here. But um, really, you're in your emotions. You know? Um, full moon there. There's some blue on the moon. So it's definitely, you're in your most you feel somebody definitely lost something here. Okay. The Knight of Wands is here. You can be dealing with the fire sign. Our fire sign could be coming towards you. Leo said the chance the Aries. You have the, the Nine of Cups, the Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, the Tower, and the Death card. Hello. Okay, so some of you have been wishing and hoping for a lot of good things to come into your life. This is what I'm seeing with the Nana Cups card. But some of y'all, every time y'all turn around, it's always something. That's why y'all have this three of three, three of swords here. This heartache and pain. Some of y'all feel like y'all been stabbed in the back of quite a few times by a lot of people. But um, these are the life lessons that some of y'all uh, water signs have to learn here. You know what I'm saying? Not just water signs, but... You know, I think for y'all a little bit more so because y'all feel a lot. You know what I'm saying? Um, Ten of Swords, stabbing you in the back. This is an ending card. Um, as long as you pass the test, everything will be okay. But there's another ending here. Transformation needs to take place. This is the Scorpio card. Transformation, ending. Um, doors closing, but windows can definitely be opening for you here. The High Priestess is here. Follow your intuition regard to everything that takes place within your life. Be more creative with the Ace of Wands. Write your vision. Make your plans. There's something that you want to achieve. You can achieve anything that you want. Write it down. It starts with a thought. You write it down in order to manifest it and make it come to be. Because I feel like you're going to be birthing out something new and exciting here. To have the Empress card. Or somebody can be pregnant here as well. Because this is a sexual card as well. Lots of passion. Lots of sex. Somebody's going to be pregnant here. Maybe a surprise pregnancy within a partnership because you have the two of cups here. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, you have the nine of cup. No, this is the nine of ones. Okay. So you're very guarded at this time in regard to a partnership. You should always guard your heart, mind, body, and spirit at all times. <clears throat> Some of you could be dealing with somebody from your past here. Somebody from your past is definitely coming in. That's the card underneath the bottom of the deck. Let's see what else that y'all have over here. Okay, you have victory that's definitely coming in. It's definitely you, water signs, with the queen of cups right there. Okay, but let's get back to your reading. You have the sun card. There's some happiness on the way for you. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. Um, happiness in regard to finances because you got the ten of pentacles. You've been waiting for some money. Hello, your money's coming. You don't have to worry about that. And you're going to have a lot of emotional fulfillment and happiness when that does come in for you, okay? Mm. So the beginning of your reading starts out with you going through a life lesson. Um, a plenty of life lessons, basically. But you've been working hard. You know, you're trying to do what you need to do in order to get to where you need to be. And even though you can be in your emotions a lot or feel like, you know, you always lose or something like that and you do go through heartache and pain, people do stab you in the back and they treat you less than or whatever it is, life lessons to be learned. That's so that you don't go through this stuff anymore. When you see somebody with the same characteristics as the person you was dealing with before and you still go and be with them, then you need this to come into your life. But if you don't learn a lesson, that's why a tower comes in to pull the rug out from underneath you, you know, to make you feel like, oh, fuck. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be careful in regard to, you got to let some shit in so some new stuff can begin in your life is what these cards are saying here. 
follow your intuition because you're very intuitive. You're a water sign. You, you, you feel. Some of you are very psychic, so you know. Uh, maybe you don't know you have gifts, but everybody has gifts. You just got to learn them. You know, you got to see where yours lie in, okay? Um, be more creative here. Go ahead and birth out what it is. Somebody don't want that have a baby to be birthing out some. Sometimes people want to birth out a business. We can call that our baby. You know, whatever it is, birth it out. Write your vision. Make it plain. Regard to this partnership that you're feeling very guard guarded about, you need to see what it is that's causing you to feel guarded about this person. Maybe this person ain't the right person for you is what I'm seeing here. I do see happiness for you guys here with the sun card, like I said. Uh, money is on the rise with the Ten of Pentacles and emotional fulfillment, fulfillment and happiness is here. All you got to do is reach out and grab it. Like I said, underneath the bottom of the deck, it could be somebody from your past coming back into your life here that I see that you could be very victorious with. And this is you out there every day. And how about, hello, here's the lover's card. That's saying what I'm saying. All you got to do is write your vision, plant the seed for something to grow, and it'll grow. And with that being said, I'm going to end this reading, y'all. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. Remember, water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, I'm it's meant to be a blessing. If you like your own personal reading with me, you can always call me at 347-227-5723. Okay, you guys, y'all have a truly blessed day. Thank you.